Hey, welcome back to Last Couple Learn, where this week we are going to be talking about retaining walls. Now, in my last video, I spoke about also walls, but those were with man-made materials, Allen block walls type of style. In this case, we are going to be talking about boulder retaining walls, also known as rock walls, and or retaining walls the simple version if you will now this are also very useful similar to the ones i spoke last week now the most important being preventing any downslope movement in your yard they provide support for vertical and near vertical grade changes it's not uncommon around the country especially in the mountain areas and similar areas to see them uh, you generally see them being built in, say, hills, mountainsides, or even in residential areas. The land can still be multi-level. Now, the main purpose of any retaining wall, be it boulder retaining wall, rock wall, or any other type of hardscape material, is to battle gravity. However, they can be a great way to take unusable space and turn it into something amazing. Really, you can. Of course, every project it needs are different. Gravity walls, such as the one at the beginning of the video that I put there, a few examples, uh, depend on the needs of the homeowner. So in this case, you, what are you wanting to accomplish with this? Your project, is it your front yard? Is it your backyard? Is it the sides of the house? Now, depending on the area, be it big or small, boulder retaining walls, rock walls, can add a really nice point of interest. To any section of the land of course it's going to depend on the designing and placement of this wall it doesn't mean that you shouldn't put it in an area where maybe there's going to be a fence it's probably going to be useful for you but depending on this maybe you can put it in the front yard in this case at the beginning i, I was putting a bit of an example if we have like a house and then we have a corner where it happens to be quite sloped that area would be great for a wall and in this case i'm kind of you know simulating that we are going to be installing there a retaining wall because we want the area to be flatter uh, maybe because this is the entrance to the house and there's a good chance that there's going to be a lot of traffic through there and you may also have kids involved either your own kids or family friends so forth and so on for the safety of them by creating this area that's flatter and you can add things to it like say uh, some shrubs and stuff like that you're going to be able to one make it look nicer because it's flatter and people are going to kind of stay away from there but also from uh, the street itself it's going to look even better that's why this style also works now obviously this is similar to the one that i spoke last week but it's different style of material now one of the things that you can get from this style of uh, material is uh, similar to the block you're going to add um, layers and you can also have steps in between them uh, to create usable spaces where you can potentially put say uh, a patio or even maybe uh, some areas for uh, uh, say perennials or annuals and even if you are wanting to do something like a water feature you can definitely use them for elevation and the waterfall will be more useful and at the same time have the height requirement we'll talk more about that in a different video but just to give you a sense or ideas as to what can be accomplished with this style of material it's not only meant for boulders you can also do this with blocks now the benefits of boulder retaining walls or rock walls is the weeping holes now you'll see here i'm drawing this and essentially what this means is the spaces in between the boulders this allows for water to drain there naturally now a lot of people like to cover them up um, they just don't want to see them and i'm going to be honest no don't do that i mean that's kind of the natural way of this and this is the style of this wall where you have this holes if anything this style of walls is more of a puzzle now one thing that you should consider and this is not you know to give you um everything because i'm not talking about the whole building aspect but one thing to think about is that you are only going to see part of the boulder because the rest is going to be hidden either in the well, in the back somehow now let's talk a little bit of the process of installation 
as per mentioned in my last video generally i don't talk about the whole aspect of the actual build of the walls but since i'm actually kind of uh, drawing it for you guys this are some of ideas uh, as to how you would actually build the walls you have to keep in mind the height of this wall and the purpose of this wall but per general you want to have the bigger boulders at the bottom as your base as opposed to um, the block walls you don't really have to put that layer of base beneath the boulders but you still would want to have the bigger boulder at the bottom and still bury of a little bit of them a few inches i would say somewhere between six and eight inches to create that base now once you have the bigger boulders that can potentially range from about four to five feet maybe a little bigger maybe a bit smaller depending on the height of the wall um, those smaller ones are going to be at the very top and so that would be sort of the layout uh, as per mentioned earlier uh, the bigger ones are going to be the bottom but then as you are putting them together it's going to be more of a puzzle because they're not square or you know shapes like you would want from blocks but there is this added beauty to them which is all that now you want to do all this and then you also want to put behind it a fabric and or a cloth and then you will put the soil the filled soil that you're going to have in the back and that's going to be able to retain that make your flat top or level area as much as possible and at the same time the bottom part if you're looking to do both at the same time um, depending on what you are trying to accomplish you may need to have one or two walls um, and both of them may uh, have a different measurements one may be only three feet and one might only be two feet of course it just depends on what you are working with I definitely have to apologize that I'm always using different programs and or different applications I generally use an escape uh, pretty much um, every day but I also like to work with other applications um, just to kind of get myself to do more sketching just to kind of show different styles of art um, I've also used Morfolio in case you are wondering. I also use Procreate. And in this particular case, I am also using Concepts, which I think it's a great app. Of course, they're all going to do a little bit, uh, things a little different. Um, I definitely like this one in case you're wondering, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm working with. So I will apologize if my sketches are not the best. I'm still working at it, but the ideas are still solid. Let me know what you guys think about all this did you find any of this interesting uh let me know in the comments let me know if you are doing your own project i like to hear all that and of course don't forget to do all that youtube stuff which is you know likes of all that good stuff i definitely appreciate it at the same time let me know if there's other things that you guys are working on and i should talk about leave some comments below and that's gonna be it for this video don't forget the model though which is dream design create and i will see you guys on the next video take care bye